With the NFL draft and NFL free agency in the rearview mirror, I thought it would be a good time to give you guys my way too early 53-man roster projection for the New York Giants. It's way too early. There's going to be some things that are not going to come right on this video, but I thought it would be a good idea to set the scene and kind of give everybody an, an idea of what this team could look like in week one of the 2024 NFL season. You're watching Giants Now by Chat Sports, and I am your host, Marshall Green. We're going to start with offense, and then we'll finish the video talking about the defensive players and special teamers as we round out all 53 positions. Daniel Jones and Drew Locke. These are the only two quarterbacks that I actually see making the initial 53-man roster for the Giants. And you know, a lot of people are going to say, what about Tommy DeVito? What about Tommy Cutlets? Gabagoo. I don't see the Giants keeping three quarterbacks. I just don't see a way. I am sure they would like to keep Tommy DeVito around for the practice squad. And DeVito has done enough to probably earn a roster spot, if not here with the Giants, somewhere else with one of the 31 other franchises in the NFL. But I don't see how you give up three of your 53-man roster spots to the quarterback positions. Giants only had two QBs on the roster last year. I think they'll do the same this year. I've asked a lot of times. Who do you want to be the starter for the Giants? Well, my question to all the real ones today is, who ends up starting more games this season? When all 17 games are done, who will have more games started? Is it Daniel Jones? Is it Drew Locke? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. From quarterbacks to running backs, I believe the Giants will keep four running backs on this roster, and that includes Devin Singletary, the free agent acquisition from the Houston Texans, Barkley is out. Singletary is in. He will wear number 26 this year. I also think Eric Gray will be on this team. He was the fifth round selection out of Oklahoma in the 2023 NFL Draft. I'm expecting his workload to increase this year, and he's going to be that main guy behind Singletary. I also have Gary Brightwell in rookie running back out of Purdue, Tyrone Tracy, making this roster. Initially, I only had Singletary, Gray, and Tracy, but I think Brightwell will remain a part of this team due to his ability to give you valuable special team snaps. At the wide receiver position, we're keeping six players. First guy, obviously, Malik Nambert, the first-round pick out of LSU. I'm expecting big things from him in his rookie season. I also think Darius Slayton, Wandale Robinson, Jalen Hyatt are all locks to make this roster, and those last two spots are somewhat up for grabs. There's a couple of different players that could come into the fold for that spot, I'm going to include Gunnar Olszewski because I think Joe Shane has learned his lesson that he needs a return specialist on this team. Olszewski, he'll be that for kick return and punt return. And I have Isaiah Hodgins making that last wide receiver spot over a guy like Isaiah McKenzie, Miles Boykin, or Dennis Houston, as well as Bryce Ford Wheaton, Ayer Asante at the UDFA, and John Giles. I think it'll be Hodgins. But I could also see the Giants going with Isaiah McKenzie, a guy that gives you more special teams value to pair him alongside Gunnar Olszewski. At the tight end position, I think four players will make this roster. And you might say to yourself as you're looking at this graphic, Marshall, you forgot Darren Waller. I don't see Darren Waller being a part of the New York Giants for the 2024 NFL season. I think he will retire. And if he does not retire, I can see the Giants trading or cutting him. But I am 95% sure that Waller is going to retire. I don't want him to retire because the Giants are going to be better if he plays. But from what I've heard, and things um, that have been put on my desk, it does not sound like Darren Waller is going to be playing football next year. So I've got Daniel Bellinger, rookie Theo Johnson, Chris Manhurts, and Jack Stoll making this roster. Manhurts and Stoll, they come from the Denver Broncos and the Philadelphia Eagles, both signed in NFL free agency. On the offensive line, I have nine players making the final 53 with Andrew Thomas at your left tackle, John Runyon left guard, John Michael Schmitz at center, free agent pickup, Jermaine Illuminor at right guard, Evan Neal at right tackle, and the four backups that I have making this roster are Joshua Azudu, Aaron Stenny, Austin Schlotman, and Marcus McKeithen. So that means guys like Yadni Kajust or Joshua Miles do not make this team. No Matt Nelson, no Jimmy Morrissey, no Jalen Mayfield. I don't see any of those guys make it. So my initial prediction is nine players. On the offensive line, Giants spent some big bucks on the offensive line in the offseason. You pay John Runyon, and you also give Jermaine Illuminor a nice payday. So it'll look different. Now with your left tackle being Thomas, Runyon at left guard, uh, John Michael Schmidt at center, then you have Jermaine Illuminor at right guard and Evan Neal at right tackle. What's your confidence level in this new 
built offensive line. How do you think they're going to play? How confident? One, in, one to ten. One, you're not being confident. Ten, you are extremely confident. From offense to defense, and let's start with the guys that put pressure on opposing quarterbacks, and which I actually think is the most talented position group on this team. You got Brian Burns, Kayvon Thibodeau, Aziz Ojolari, and Boogie Basham. Just four edge rushers for me making the initial 53. Guys that got cut were Benton Will Whitley, Jermaine Martin, a guy like um, Tom and Fox as well got cut. Some easy moves for me to make decisions on. It really came down to Boogie Basham or Benton Whitley. I'm going to roll with Basham, and I think Whitley would be a guy that could end up on the practice squad. What about interior defensive linemen? I got five big guys taking up spots for the DTs, headlined by Dexter Lawrence, the best defensive tackle, in my opinion, in the National Football League. You're keeping around Raheem Nunez, Rochez, Jordan Phillips, who you signed in free agency. He comes over from the Buffalo Bills. And then two late-round NFL draft picks, DJ Davidson in 2022 and Jordan Riley in 2023. Five big fellas keeping up a spot on this roster that'll play the interior defensive line. We'll talk linebackers, corners, and safeties as well, special teamers around the corner. But I need you to go to chatsports.com slash neighbors. That is chatsports.com slash neighbors. And get yourself a brand new Malik Neighbors New York Giants jersey. He has not chosen his number yet. It will not be number one as that number is retired. Once he chooses a number, they'll put it on there and they'll get that shipped out to you. Get it today, chatsports.com slash neighbors. I'll make sure that link is clickable down in the comments and description of today's video. Let's talk about some off-ball linebackers that I have making the 53, and I've got five of them with two of them contributing mainly on special teams. Bobby Okereke, he's here to stay, as is Micah McFadden. You re-sign Isaiah Simmons on a one-year deal. I'm expecting him to play more than he did last year under Wink Martindale. I think Shane... Bowen, your new defensive coordinator, is going to use him in different spots. And then I got Matthew Adams and Darius Moussau, the six-round pick from UCLA, rounding out the five players that will keep a roster spot at linebacker with Adams and Moussau giving you a lot of special teams production. Let's talk about some boundary corners as well as slot corners. Deontay Banks, the 2023 first-round pick, he is going to make this roster, as is Nick McLeod, Cordell Flott. Rookie, third rounder out of Kentucky, Andrew Phillips. And then the guys that I think may not make this roster that will, in my opinion, do it and be a part of my final initial 53 include David Long. You just signed him last week. Comes over from the Los Angeles Rams. Started in that Super Bowl win over the Cincinnati Bengals. And I got Darnay Holmes and Trey Hawkins. I've got seven total players at the corner position. I think Giants are going to load up there with these new special teams rules. You need some speed on kickoff coverage, as well as punt coverage. So I'm expecting the Giants to keep a couple of guys at that spot. Only four safeties, though, for me. So I go seven corners compared to four safeties because I believe a guy like Nick McLeod could do a little bit of both, and he could also um, play on the outside and the slot. He could play safety and give you special teams production as well. I've got Jason Pinnock, Dane Belton, Tyler Newbin and Jalen Mills as the four safeties I am keeping. That means Jervarius Owens does not make the roster. Would love to bring him back on special teams. The seventh round pick out of the University of Houston back in 2023. Then your special teamers, a.k.a. the special players. Jamie Gillen going to make this roster as your punter. Graham Gano as your kicker. And Casey Kreider as your long snapper. So that is my initial 53-man roster as we film here on May 6th. Lots going to change. Hopefully some more football get players get added to this team. So I'm going to be honest with you. I'll tell you my grade in a second. And the Giants got to get better on this roster if they want to compete. I'll hear from you first. Your grade of the roster right now. For me, I can't go any higher than a C. And I'm trying to be positive, but it is my job as an analyst to give the truth and tell you how I feel. And I just don't feel comfortable going any higher than a C. It's an average roster, middle of the pack to closer to the bottom uh, of the half. So I think they can win some games. I think they can compete, but there's not a lot of talent. It's going to come down to grit, grind, coaching, take care of the football, and doing the little things a lot like they did when they made the playoffs in Brian Dable's first season. If you haven't yet, make sure you are following me over on social media. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Instagram, at Marshall Green underscore. Appreciate you stopping by. We'll see you next time. Let's go Big Blue. Thank you.